a nationally known educator, writer, public speaker, and advocate for public education. A native of Somerset, New Jersey, Curtis is a graduate of Franklin Township Public School System, Morehouse College, and Harvard University, where he received the Robert F. Kennedy Award for Public Service, the Kennedy School of Government's highest honor. Curtis has traveled 29 developing countries as an educator, humanitarian, and policy advisor, serving with the United States Peace Corps, Africa, World Vision, United States Agency for International Development, and Council on Foreign Relations. Curtis Valentine currently serves as an at-large member of the Prince George County, Maryland Board of Education, the 17th largest school district system in America. Curtis advocates for increasing engagement of fathers in education through his hashtag Fatherhood Forum. Curtis also advocates for increasing male educators through the Male Educator Network, an organization he founded along with other male educators in Maryland. Curtis serves as, a, serves as an adjunct professor of political science, consults with the National Council for Teacher Quality, and currently writing the hashtag Father for the book. Curtis is the son of Curtis Bryant and Marilyn Valentine, and father to Curtis M. Poe, Amir, and Ivy Valentine. Curtis's wife, Dr. Daria Valentine, is a graduate of Spelman College and holds a doctorate in education from the George Washington University.
In spite of growing divisions in our country, this is the same year that Akash and Bentley set their sights on the highest honor, a perfect 4.0 for four years. And then we moved on to sophomore year. And what was on the radio? Ray Schremer declared, I ain't got no type. Okay. But instead of hearing music with your earbuds, everybody had on a pair of Beats by Dre headphones driving Dr. Sirhan crazy. By then, Instagram, it was on everybody's mind, and Snapchat had, had, had filters allowing all teenagers to be accessorized for free. <laughs> Are you snapping right now, Bianca? Is, is, is Bianca Snapchat? <laughs> what about you, Stephanie? Stephanie Quaid, are you Snapchat right now? No? Okay. The second, I mean, that was the same year that Cleveland police shot a 12-year-old boy playing with a toy gun in the park only five seconds after encountering him. A boy only a few years younger than you all. His name was Tamir Rice. The policeman was never indicted and still serves with the Cleveland Police Department today. By junior year, we're all listening to Kendrick Lamar. And, and no matter how much stress you all had about questions of what do you want to do about high school, you all declared, if God got us, then we gonna be all right. We gonna be all right. And Jimmy, can you feel me? We gonna be all right. By then, Facebook Live, was launched, and now your mom and dad could embarrass you just to let us in pictures, but lie as family watching around the world. <laughs> that same summer, a woman was arrested during a routine traffic stop in Texas State. While in police custody, she mysteriously died. The police officer on duty was found guilty of making false statements. He was never indicted. Her name was Sandra Bland. In spite of chants of Black Lives Matter echoing from cities as close as Newark and New York, you all welcomed in Principal Sirhan. Yay, Principal Sirhan. And that's the same year that Leandra Garcia won Miss America Outstanding Team Pageant. By senior year, the Migos gave everyone permission to be bad and bougie. And you all would need that confidence as you all apply to college, trade school, and the military. Instagram launched its chat, and then you all realized that you all can message anyone uh, anytime you wanted to. That same year, a man, his girlfriend, and her son were profiled by a police officer in Minnesota. The man, a passenger, who legally had a gun, told officers he had a registered firearm, and had to reach for his registration was shot anyway. The man's girlfriend goes live on Facebook documenting his death. His name was Philando Castillo. The officer was mur murdered him, they're still on trial. And as America elected Donald Trump as president, the Central Jersey College Prep. Also. Give you a second chance. As America elected Donald Trump as president, the Central Jersey College Park reported 100% graduation rate and 100% admission rate for the second year in a row. tell you that the next four years will be just as eventful as the last. And I'm sure you all are prepared to handle everything that may come. And the, but the one thing separating you from reaching your goal is consistency. Mm -hmm. But I know that, Michaela, this fall, you won't be the smartest girl in the room at William and Mary, but I'm confident you will be when you're declared valedictorian of the class of 2020 of William and Mary with a degree in economic anthropology. And Ariel Marshall, this fall you will attend Rutgers University study neuroscience. And hopefully you'll use your knowledge not just to make money, but also to save lives. I'm sure you will. And where's Nicholas Hauser? You won't need your piano while going to Philadelphia to attend military institute, but through your music you are going to uplift men and women who serve and protect us every day. And Ronaldo.
This fall, he will travel to Montclair State and prepare for a career in business. But don't just use a degree to make money. Make a difference. So, I'm sure the next year will be filled with you all making friends no matter what Drake says. Uh, new challenges, new opportunities, but also new reports of police killing unarmed men and women in this country. The question is, how will you respond? I fully expect you all to respond the same way you all did for the last four years. Why? Because we are counting on you. Because as long as hate can lead to murder of the unarmed, we need you. Mm. Why? Because as long as America continues to be divided along political lines and not united around the challenges of tomorrow, we need you. Mm. And we need you because the Central Jersey College Prep Class of 2017, you are the most outstanding class to ever graduate from this school. Yeah. And so let me have everyone in the room rise to your feet, please, and honor the Central New Jersey College Prep Class of 2017. Sit down. Be home. <laughs>